Hello, my name is Craig Kaplan. I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of my iPad app SpinDraw. So I'll get started by pressing play here. As you can see, you've got a little mechanical simulation that draws a pretty picture on your screen. You can pause and play the simulation with the second button here. You can clear the drawing that you've made so far and just restart. You can hide and show the machinery that's doing the drawing. Now on the screen, you can also manipulate the machine itself. You can drag around these two spinning wheels. You can change their sizes. And uh, while it's paused, you can grab the end of these rods and uh, change the lengths of the rods. The handles attached to each wheel are throttles that control how fast they spin. And if the handle's on the left side of the wheel, it spins backwards. There's another throttle here on the bottom right corner of the screen, and that controls the speed that the paper turns, that the canvas turns. So now you can see that the little plus signs in the background are turning much faster. There's also a pop-up with additional controls. The first one controls the speed of the entire simulation, makes everything go faster. You can, of course, change the color of your drawing. And you can also turn on this uh, pretty cool quantization feature. So when quantization is on, the system will adjust the speeds of everything to make sure that you get a closed picture when you're done, a loop that closes in on itself. And you can set how many points you want that picture to have. So if I say 9 with a closed circle, well, I get something that's got a multiple of 9 points, but I can probably make it be exactly 9 if I fiddle with it a little bit. And what's cool is, while you have quantize mode turned on, you actually can manipulate the drawing in real time and it'll update the result. So always keeping it closed and always executing the entire drawing process from start to finish. So you can very easily explore a wide range of interesting designs. Now if you want some inspiration to get started, there's a library built in of some designs you might want to start with to play with. So if I select this one for example and just go ahead and hit play, you'll see that it'll start drawing speed that up a bit. This is actually going to go around multiple times. So let me just skip to the end. And you get this pretty cool design. And there's, a, there's about 18 in here, including a button to give you a random design just to see if you can get anything interesting out of it. When you're done, if you have a design you like, so let's say I choose that one, then you can also export it in a couple of different ways. You can save it to your photo roll on your iOS device, or you can email it to yourself or to somebody else as a raster image, a PNG file, or as the actual curves in a PDF. Anyway, that's the whole, uh, that's the whole application, and I hope you enjoy playing with it. Thanks.